Hello my friends, and welcome to the channel for another Marauders video, covering 10 more simple but effective tips to help you heal faster, loot faster, get better gear, and become the space pirate you were always born to be. While Marauders might not be as complicated as some of the other hardcore survival and extraction shooters out there, there's still a lot to learn and discover about the game, even in these early stages of early access. So hopefully some of these tips can help you out and make things a little bit easier so you can focus on looting and shooting. I'm going to start this one off with a few inventory shortcuts for you, beginning with one that I actually read in my comments section, so shout out to CaffeineJunkie3 in the comments for this one. But you can actually quickly use a healing item by simply hovering over it in your inventory and clicking the middle mouse button instead of right clicking and then clicking use item. When you're in a stressful situation, that half of a second of time saved can be huge. So next time you go to heal up after getting shot, just tap that middle mouse button and you'll be set. Tip number two is something that I definitely took for granted after playing thousands of hours of Escape from Tarkov, and I just really thought it would be second nature to everyone. But you can quickly move items over to your inventory by pressing Control and then left clicking that item in your stash or in a container or an enemy's inventory. This is almost always faster than drag and dropping loot into your inventory individually, and it has the added benefit of automatically rotating the item so it will fit into whatever space is free in your backpack. It also will automatically stack these items together, but this is kind of 50-50 and sometimes it won't work properly, which I'm assuming is just a bug. This tip should save you lots of time when looting, which means you spend less time being vulnerable, so don't forget this. The next tip is another one that's pretty simple, but I think really easy to miss as well. You can right click and fold empty backpacks, which allows them to be put into other backpacks. This has a few uses. First, you can fold up backpacks from dead enemies and then extract with them, which can be a really simple way to build up lots of backpacks in your inventory and not have to use synthetic scrap to craft them every raid. The second use for this is that you can store bags within bags, creating backpackception in your stash, which is really helpful for better organization and creating more space. Speaking of creating more space, did you know that you can actually upgrade your stash space in Marauders quickly and easily with just a simple crafting recipe? At level 8, you can unlock a crafting schematic for the small container, which only requires 3 synthetic scrap, 2 metal scrap, and a tool kit, and creates a container that is only 3x3 three three spaces in your stash, but can store a much larger amount of items inside the crate. As you can see in this picture, I've gone a little wild crafting these containers because it allows you to hold much much more stuff in your stash at any given time. So you can stockpile crafting components, guns, armor, meds, and anything else so you never run out. For tip number five, I have another crafting recipe that you should definitely not ignore, and that is for the plate rig armor, which has quickly become my favorite general purpose armor as a solo player. You can unlock the schematic at level 15, and it only requires one metal sheet, one fabric, and one leather strip to craft, getting you a class 8 armor with high durability and 12 extra inventory slots for a really simple craft, using items that can be easily picked up out of trash cans and loot boxes. Once you unlock this and start stockpiling, and crafting materials, you shouldn't ever have to wear any of the basic class 6 armor rigs again. Next up, I have a few quick little combat tips for when you're actually out in the raid fighting stuff, starting with one that has saved me more than a few times. Remember that you can sprint and reload at the same time, and this can be a lifesaver when you're fighting for your life. Especially as a solo player, you're going to need to move around a lot in fights to avoid being pinned down by groups. So every time you engage and dump a mag down range, sprint away to reposition and reload while you're running so you don't waste any time and can fire back as soon as you get to a good position. Coming in at tip number 7, your airlock is not safe after you spawn there. I'm not sure if this applies to every map or only the smaller ones, but other players can most definitely come out of the same airlock as you at the start of a raid. We don't all get unique spawn points every time. It isn't going to happen in every run, but I would suggest kind of slow playing around your spawn point a little bit at the start of raids, just looting whatever boxes are there and listening closely for the sound of your airlock starting to open again. If you hear this, get set up for an ambush right away because you can usually take people by complete surprise as they exit the airlock. On the flip side, if you're a bit late to enter the raid after spawning, be extra careful when leaving your ship and just check your corners to make sure you don't end up getting ambushed in the airlock. 
My next tip is kind of related to map knowledge, and that is to be mindful of what type of AI you should be expecting to fight when you enter a raid. For example, the Commando Outpost map has some pretty strong AI who all wear good armor, helmets, have full auto weapons, and generally come equipped with backpacks and healing supplies. These guys are a lot harder to fight compared to the Prison Colony AI, who often have no armor and only basic pistols or melee weapons. The Asteroid Mine also has a lot of weaker mine worker enemies as well. The Spaceport and Terraformer have Raider AI that has a big mix of gear but can sometimes have high caliber rifles that really do a lot of damage, and the Capital Ship has Navy Commandos with crazy gear and supplies. Once you understand the difference between these AI enemies, you can craft better plans for each map. You can play a bit more aggressively on the prison colony or the mine against the weaker AI, and being extra cautious against the commandos can lead you to some really good gear, XP, and loot as you carefully 1v1 all the commandos and clear the ship. For tip number 9, I want to talk about the depots, which can be found on the asteroid mine, terraformer, and spaceport. And in my experience so far, these places are the best areas in the game for high money value loot. You seem to get more weapons and armor from the vaults, but depots are filled with jewelry boxes, war bonds, coins, and other valuable items that you want to get your hands on. To open these depots, you need a depot token, which is a pretty rare item, and they each open specific depot doors. The mine token for the asteroid mine, the terra token for the terraformer, and the port token for the spaceport. Once you find a token, you can use it to open that specific depot door, which is a large red and black door that will be clearly marked with the word depot overhead. I would kind of recommend bringing a friend to help you clear out all this loot, because when I looted a depot solo, I had to leave behind a lot of stuff. So share the wealth with your friends, grab a token, and make yourself some serious cash. The final tip for this video is one that I think should go without saying, but I had a few comments from people who mentioned they didn't realize you could open up things like ration crates, jewelry boxes, and supply crates in your stash, and they had just been selling them to vendors as a whole crate. So for anyone who needs to know, make sure to right click and unlock the crates in your stash to get all the individual pieces of loot out. For ration, medical, and supply crates, these items will often be helpful as supplies to use in raids. I especially like the ration crates because they're quite common to find, and I just end up bringing four or five military rations into every raid and eating them like candy or throwing them away to pick up better items. For jewelry boxes and supply crates, opening them allows you to get all of the individual coins and war bonds out, which almost always will sell for more than if you simply sold the entire crate as one piece. It's a simple tip, maybe a bit of a cop out to end the video, but knowledge is power and now you know. Well that covers it for another 10 Marauders tips to help you get well equipped and prepared to head out into the outer reaches of space in search of glory and riches. I hope you found these helpful, and let me know down in the comments if there's any hot tips that you think I've missed out on so far. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream and Discord server down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe out there Marauders. Thank you.